Hey guys, my name is Nick and this is my presentation on interpersonal communication in the workplace. So what is interpersonal communication? That is going to be the exchange of ideas, thoughts, feelings, and personal experiences through multiple different forms of communication. This is going to look like hand gestures, waves, signals, emails and of course in-person verbal uh, communication. So it is going to be a wide different variety of ways to communicate with one another. Why is it important? So the whole idea behind trying to improve interpersonal communication is going to be cutting down on miscommunication and things getting lost in translation. If you are able to clearly get your point across to another person, you're going to spend less time worrying about what that person meant or did not mean. And the more time that you're able to not worry about whatever someone else said or what they might have meant, the less time you're going to be in this weird limbo of not knowing exactly what to do when it comes to work. If you were asked to complete XYZ and then you go and complete XYZ because you understood the assignment, then you're gonna be in a much better uh, position than you were before. So where does this communication usually go wrong? One of these places is going to be the generational gap. The reality is a lot of older people prefer in-person communication, whereas a lot of younger individuals would rather communicate through a digital media, whether that be email, phone, texting, what have you. That could just be a matter of younger people are raised around technology. There's a multitude of different reasons for it. Um, another thing is going to be how are we going to get our point across to other individuals without coming off as rude or insensitive. Something that uh, someone your grandfather's age might say, they might think it's a, you know, an incredibly appropriate and rational thing to say. However, someone who's younger, you know, closer to our age is going to take it incredibly offensive. Now, even though the person who might be considered a boomer is not trying to be rude or offensive or nasty, it may come across that way. And again, we have to operate with this in uh, this thought of this person who has said something that maybe is out of line is not necessarily trying to be rude or insensitive. This is just how their communication skills have been for their entire life. And you know, they're very used to being able to talk a certain way they maybe think it's appropriate. So we're trying to bridge that gap to us, you know, make sure that communication flows in a more appropriate way. So how will improving your interpersonal communication skills benefit you at a job? Like I said earlier, if your communication skills are improved and you are uh, aware of what is expected of you when it comes to your work, you're not going to be worried about what you still need to do or what you might have missed. Uh, if, like I said, if you are told you need to clean the bathroom, do your report, and you know clean up your mess in the lunchroom, whatever, and you complete all three of those tasks, you're not going to necessarily be worried about what you didn't do because you've already completed what was asked of you. Now you can obviously, you know, find other things to do, but you're gonna look at this as a perspective of you know what you needed to do, it was taken care of. Um, in addition, if everything is very clear to you, you're able to be more productive with your time. You're not gonna be in this weird limbo of not knowing what to do. So if you understand your task is, you know, finish your quarterly report and send out an email and also have that one-on-one -on -one meeting with your teammate, if you forgot about the one-on-one -on -one with your teammate, you know, obviously that's going to impact your team at some point. Whereas if you are aware of that meeting and you do follow through with all of those tasks, it's not gonna set you back in any way. So the more productive and aware you are of what is expected of you, the less you have to worry. So in conclusion, your interpersonal communication skill is to benefit um, the whole of your company. The idea is that the more you are able to do with what you know, uh, the less time you're gonna be unaware of what you need to do or what you should be doing or what is expected of you. And cutting down on unneeded info. We all have you know, the stereotypical grandparent or parent telling a story 
that is filled with useless information, whether it be the weather of a day or what specific restaurant a conversation was had at or the color of someone's shirt. So if we're able to cut down on that unneeded information, there's gonna be less room for something to not be understood because there was information that was not useful or beneficial to the overall expectation. And finally, um, how to use these methods of communication. If you are able to still use um, your texting, your in-person conversations, your signals, and you're still able to get your point across or have what is being communicated to you through those means of communication, and you understand how they are being sent to you and you're clear on what the message is, you're not gonna need to worry too much. So all in all, um, that's all it's going to really come down to is you wanna improve your communication through those different methods. Finally, these are my citations. Thank you very much for watching.